This is the guide that you didn't know that you needed because the Tech Canteen has some really strong insulation buffs as well as some incredibly powerful stamina and antifreeze buffs. If you find the content in this video helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications. Before we get started, let's say hello to our subscriber Shinehorn, Adrian GC. The Tech Canteen is unlocked at level 101. It requires 6 cementing paste, 5 element, 2 metal ingot and 10 polymer. The Tech Canteen does need to be crafted inside the Tech Replicator, so you will need to have defeated a boss in arc to be able to get this done. Like the regular canteens, you can place these in your hotbar and fill them up at the edge of the water. Like all the other canteens, you can refill this in a tap as well. And just to note that the tech canteen holds 900 water. This means it can hold three times more water than a regular canteen. As standard, the canteens come in cold, but if you right click on them, you can change the mode to hot. After you have changed the mode to the hot mode, the canteen will empty and you will need to go ahead and refill it. So now we're going to take a look at some of the buff effects that the canteens give you. I have removed all of my armor and taking a look at my inventory, you can see that my hypothermal and hyperthermal insulation is both at 67. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of the cold canteen and you'll see that there are two buffs that appear on the screen. The left buff is a cooling buff which lasts for 120 seconds. You will see that my hyperthermal insulation, which is protection from the heat, has now increased significantly to 489. This can be really helpful for the extreme heat in the deserts, especially on scorched earth, as well as other hot areas like the lava caves and tech cave. So you can see here on scorched earth, I have the flame symbol, which means my health is going down. My water is rapidly decreasing and I'll probably heat stroke soon. So I am still in the desert. This time we're going to take a sip from the cold canteen and you will see that we have the buff which is cooling us down, our water is not draining and we have no more flame symbol. This negates the effect of the hot desert and allows you to survive for longer. So we are now back on Genesis 2 and we just took a sip from our hot canteen and you'll see that there are three status buffs this time. We are going to focus on the upper status buff, which is a warming buff that lasts 120 seconds. You will see that my hypothermal insulation, which is protection from the cold, is now at 489. So we are on the island in the Arctic. We have an ice cube, our health is going down. So let's see what happens when we take the canteen. We get the buff, our ice cube is gone, our health is restored. So this can be very helpful in very cold conditions. So I wanted to test this in the Ragnarok murder snow. So this place is so cold, you get instant ice cube status. And just standing here with fur armor on, I was dead in 81 seconds. So we are in the same location. This time we are going to take a sip from our hot canteen to get the warming buff. Even with this buff, our health is going down pretty rapidly. So 145 seconds later, we were dead, which is almost double the survival time without the canteen. This is not a widely dramatic difference, but it might be enough extra time to retrieve your death bean bag or quickly nab an ice wyvern egg and get out of there. And just to note that I tested with Freya curry and it didn't seem to make me survive any longer. And when we added a primitive torch, I was able to survive another 30 seconds. So I just wanted to note that you can take a drink from both the cold canteen and the hot canteen and get all four buffs at once. So the buffs stack. So in this case, I have 279 of hyper and hypothermal insulation. They give you a bit more buff than they give you a debuff. So you do get benefit for both. So I want to talk about the other two buffs now. The first of which is the stamina buff. This is the buff on the left side and it's kind of looks like a man running through it with a cross symbol. What this does is it reduces your stamina usage for 60 seconds. This is great for all players. You can run, you can fight for longer, but there is a particular advantage for PVP players because you can pair it with beer and it significantly reduces the stamina reduction that beer gives. So you still continue to get the damage resistance and the melee increase, but in this case the stamina is draining 
much slower than just when using beer by itself. So using the tech canteen along with the beer, it took 103 seconds until I ran out of stamina completely. So I did test the same kind of fight with just using beer alone and within 33 seconds my stamina was completely depleted. So it is very clear that the tech canteen will work really well alongside beer. So the last buff is the anti-freeze buff. This lasts for 9 seconds and it's the one with snowflakes with a strike through. This buff has the ability to stop you from being frozen. So I believe that this buff may have been developed to actually counter the freeze from the mana gamma. This causes a lot of players grief, especially in PvP. So when you drink from the hot canteen, you get the anti-freeze buff. You can see here that the Managama is having difficulty freezing me. It can still do a lot of damage if you stay in front of it. But if you drink your hot canteen, stay on the move, get away from the Managama, it will not be able to freeze you and you should be able to get away pretty effectively. It only lasts 9 seconds, so I think it's just more of a get out of the situation and go buff. The reason I think it is a specific mana gamma buff is that I tested its antifreeze on lots of other things and it didn't seem to work. The ice wyvern still gave me the ice cube effect but I was still able to move so that one's really confusing. Even with the buff I was still able to be frozen by the snow owl. The effect didn't seem to last very long but this is quite confusing. I also tried against the ice titan. I did take damage from the freeze breath. I didn't get frozen but I also didn't get frozen without the canteen. I did also test the anti-freeze effect on the freezing spores on aberration and it does not work there. You still kind of keep tripping pretty hard and the spores do affect you. So I am tripping out that I made a seven minute video about a tech canteen but some of these buffs especially the antifreeze for the mana and the stamina buff are really powerful and I think more players need to know about them. If you have made it to the end and you have found this information helpful please consider giving a subscription to the channel. This helps the channel grow and get more information out to other players. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.